Hello and welcome to OpenTTD. I'm Joe and today we're going to be starting a brand new map. The Link Game Island series that I started was good but what I very quickly realised was that unfortunately due to the fact it's not a particularly large map and also coupled with the fact that we had AI on uh, it, it got very busy very quickly and it kind of ran out of things to do very quickly. Uh, so we're going to start a new map. This is just a randomly generated map. As you can see, uh, we've got a medium amount of towns, we've got a medium amount of industries, and uh, it's relatively flat land. What I want to do on this particular series is I want to build a huge, huge, huge railway network. Things kind of whizzing all over the place, you know, where you can just sit back and be like, wow, that is, you know, that's pretty cool stuff. So first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to set up, we're just going to randomise a face here. And uh, e let's have a think, anyone that looks vaguely like me, that'll do. Uh, let's bring you over here. Uh, I think the hair's probably alright. The, the, let's go for the more manic hair, that, that suits me. The eye colour is fine. I would quite like to be smiling. Can, can we smile? Ooh, that's more of a grimace, isn't it? And I'm not too keen on the fact that the nose is enormous. Let's let's have a bit more of a slimline nose. That'll do. Uh, Okie dokie, that's absolutely fine. We'll have some glasses on as well. My god, I look middle-aged. That's fine. Uh, manager name, obviously, will be J. Dobson. And uh, the company name will be Joa Group. Because we never change, we're, we're nice and you know we're nice and consistent. And my colour scheme is this gorgeous light blue and uh, and pink. Now I have got some mods going on this. Um, we've got the UK trains, so um, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to use some of the UK trains. I've also got a couple of other things that edit the original vehicles, etc., etc. Uh, and it gives you the option of two colours. Also Bob's buses uh, because I like buses. Light blue and pink. That's our colour scheme. We're all good to go. Now, our hub base of operation is going to be this place here, De Zero City. Yes, I did name that myself. Creative name, isn't it? And the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to get some freight moving. Now, I've made the mistake in the past of going straight into passenger, and don't get me wrong, for expanding the cities, passenger is the best way of doing that. However, early on, you want to get some freight because the freight is what makes the money. Passengers can be somewhat unpredictable and unreliable and it can take a while. So let's go into this sawmill here uh, because this sawmill is uh, is going to be... Oh, hang on, not allowed while paused. Yeah, duh, unpause it, you goose. This sawmill is, uh, is going to be where we're putting our first, uh, you know, we're going to be putting our first railway line in here. Now, I always build one track like that so that there's no huge canopy, because if you click four like that, we'll waste the money. You end up with the canopy. At a freight station, I don't like that. That's just cost us a lot of money to do, uh, just to demonstrate. But yeah, uh, then we're going to come over here to this forest. Can we get the coal and the wood? That's wonderful. Uh, because if we can, you know, if we can take coal from there as well, then uh, then that's what we like. There's also another coal mine up here, so we shall get you there. Just bring you straight round. Can we can we tunnel through there? That's lovely. Yeah, I like that. We do love a good tunnel. It's good to tunnel. Okie dokie. And we shall. I know. I I should really use the. Uh, I should use the other tools. I've seen lots of YouTubers that just use this tool and they just drag things about all over the place really quickly. Uh, but I'm I'm not particularly talented at doing that. It's uh, it's kind of like like that. I'd, I'd, yeah. Maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe should should we try and build this whole series with uh, with this tool? Ah, uh, you see, it's going wrong already. There we go. No, we'll, we'll just go for the usual clickety-click, get the correct tools. That's what we like. Okie dokie, and we shall put a crossover over here. I'm going to be using my standard style of building. Uh, I always do my terminus stations the same. And it's 1950. Uh, we are going to be going with colour light signals. I know in the UK uh, we're still using semaphore to this day, uh, but we're going to be going with colour light just so that I don't have to go around and modernise them all later. Purely 
and simply because I'm lazy. Pop a few signals in between. And uh, yeah, I know you can do the whole clickety click and drag with the signals and it'll automatically put them in, but I never bother. I always like to put them in so that I know where each signal is. Right, so we are out of money. Excellent. Borrow some more. It's as easy as that. There we go. Buy a load of vehicles. Wood refit. Okie dokie. And we're going to be going to X Hall Mines. Fully load with, uh, with wood and go to... Badberg Bay. Badberg Bay. Wow, that's uh, that's a hell of a name, isn't it? Go back to the depot. I always like to also schedule them to go to the depot after every trip because sometimes they just bugger off on their own, you know, just doing their own thing. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, you, you know, like you would train from this line and all of a sudden be all the way down here. Just just doing his own thing. You're like, uh, excuse me, get back on your route. Thank you. And that can cause congestion on your other lines, so I don't like that. We're going to have two trains. Um, it's going to be ridiculously, uh, yeah, they're going to be sat waiting for a long time. But if you have trains waiting at X Hall Mines, for instance, loading with wood, it will make the station rating better because things are not sat around waiting a long time. That's essentially my very brief sum up of how it works. If the station rating is good, this will produce more, hopefully. There's, there's like a, a percentage chance, somebody's worked it out in one of their videos, um, but, you know, there's, so there's a percentage chance of that happening. Fingers crossed. So what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to find another wooden, uh, another, another wooden place. When I say another wooden place, what I mean is, of course, a forest. We're going to have to get the world map open. Okay, okay, so the zero city is the, oh, we can zoom right out. It's a, it's a 512 by 512 map that I'm using. I thought that's big enough for us to do a lot of things on it, but not too big. Okie dokie, so there's one here. Is there? So there is. Ah, yes, right there. The, the forests are not particularly easy to see. <laughs> uh, dear me. Right. Hold on, let, let's get the... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Get another... Uh, we're just going to do exactly the same. And I paid all the loan back, so we'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Can we can we have the money back, please? We'll just drag straight up. And I reckon that we'll, uh, yeah, we'll bring it out from there. And, uh, and straight in. This is a nice, uh, a nice straightforward, easy build, isn't it? It is made a lot easier when, um, you know, when you're using flatland, I have to admit. So perhaps I've plumped for a very easy, easy thing here. But it means that, you know, you've got more space to expand out with your railway lines. I really want this kind of big hub with lots of things happening, lots to see, kind of trains everywhere. I think it'll look really good. I really do. Right, there we go. We'll get, some, get a signal in there. Get one in there for you. And of course, linking this up with path signals means that this can be uh, this can be nice and efficient. I'm not particularly good at efficiency, as you'll see if you've watched my uh, my voxel tycoon videos, but uh, we can try. We can try, can't we? It's not for lack of trying. There we go. Get you on there, and we shall have the Gresley A1 again. I know it's for express passenger trains, but it's the most exciting steam train other than the A3. But I think we'll use the A3 on the passenger trains. Uh, go get some wood. Yep. Go to Running Hall Woods. Full load with your cargo. Nope, not near end. Far end. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Up there. And then back into here. There we go. Trains are on the move. Repair that loan. I like to repay the loan as much as possible so that we're paying less interest on it. What have you actually got in terms of production? So you're producing 136 tonnes of wood. Ah, 108. That's good. It's both above 100. Obviously, if that gets to zero, then there is a very distinct risk that that industry might shut down. And if that does, then that's not good. <laughs> yeah, you go. You see, I'm, I'm good, aren't I? I'm very good indeed. Now, what we are going to do, I think, we need a station at the Zero City. I think our main station, it would make sense if it was kind of here. We've got this, you know, this is kind of crying out of, this is a good place. So if I put it around here, 
it's kind of in the way of these towns a bit. If we put it here, we can have lines going round, you know, kind of down here as well. I think that works. So let's have a look. I don't think we've got enough money. We've got enough space. We have got enough space. We've not got enough money. Of course we haven't. So we're going to put that there. De Zero City North. Okay. I don't like the name De Zero City North. We're going to have to change that. Uh, but what we will do is we shall put that there. And we will also connect that up to De Zero City South. Uh, Babberg Bay South even, sorry. Can't believe I just called it De Zero City. It's Babberg Bay. We've, we've been through this. Let's get a depot on there. We'll make it not transparent anymore. We don't need that. And we shall have some goods trucks. I mean, you can see from our selection of buses here. Look at that lovely selection. And that's Bob's buses. So you, can, uh, you can download those. They're free of charge. Uh, and then we're going to use some Talbot flatbed trucks. Because in this, you can actually use the flatbed trucks as opposed to just a goods truck. And that's nice because you get a nice little container on the back. We'll refit that to goods. Go and load at Bagberg Bay South. Yep. Take goods to the Zero City. Do it. We can only afford two of them. Okay. Right, well, off you go. Preferably before the train gets here, because then you'll load with goods from that train. There we go. Right, okie dokie. You're going to hopefully, uh, you're going to hopefully whiz off. There you go, you see, he's got like a little green container. He's got a little purple container. I just like to be able to see when the goods are loaded. I mean, 219 crates of goods, so we're, we're going to need more lorries. Two more. We can only afford two more, but two more is good for the carrying of goods. How many can you actually carry a time? 14. Yeah, we need a lot more. <laughs> we need a hell of a lot more. There's a lot of green containers, isn't there? So you're going to take... Um, yeah, you're going to take goods to De Zero City. Now, the reason I put goods there, goods don't help a town grow. They don't. If the town's supplied with goods, if it's not, it doesn't matter. It won't grow. Passengers are who are going to grow this town. However, delivering goods seems to get them to like you more in the company ratings. And we're going to need to be liked in De Zero City because I'm going to build a lot of track around here. You know, I'm going to demolish a lot of trees, which will fall out of favour very quickly with the town. And, of course... Uh, we're going to want to put some bus stops in as well. That will make Zero City grow exponentially. But we want to stay on their good side. And to stay on their good side, we deliver goods. There's a lot of good. Everybody's good. Everybody's happy and jolly. Hooray. Right, so. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to speed this up a little bit. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. We've not got enough, you know, we've not got enough money to do things with. We need more money. I mean, our little trusty, trusty goods trucks. There we go, 19. We'll get another two. So this is all jolly good. I think 10 should be enough. And there we go. We have created a successful... I say successful, that's an awful lot of goods. We need to, we need to really look uh, transporting the goods somewhere else. Have we got another city nearby? And I say city... Um, I always say city because cities are... Uh, they tend to have bigger buildings. So Chunli. We could perhaps transport to Chunli. Chunli's only a town. But uh, well, let's have a look. What are you? Fletwood? Not Fleetwood. Fletwood. Lanston. Um, I reckon Fletwood and Dothwaite Springs are a good one. They're a bit close together, aren't they? Because the fact of the matter is, we've got over a thousand crates of goods waiting. <laughs> We can't transport that many to De Zero City. While I'm deliberating, what we're going to do is we are going to have De Zero City goods trucks. 
and we're going to drag you all into there so that I know what line you're on. Uh, seeing as there's no function to create lines, we've got to uh, we've got to kind of adapt uh, as and when. Right. Okay. So I reckon that could work. So what we're going to do next is we are going to have to transport some goods from there. So, he says, not really knowing what he's doing, but that's fine. It's all right not knowing what you're doing because you make it up as you go along. It's been getting me through for years. Right, okay. So we shall put, uh, I reckon, a four-platform station here. We'll delete you and you. Just two bits of road so that we can squeeze the station there. You accept goods, so that is that is excellent. That's what we want. And we are going to have... Yeah, we're going to have that there. We're going to go via Chunli. Now, Chunli will probably accept goods as well. It will. Ah, but it won't here. What will you do at that side? Will you accept goods here? You will. Oh, that is good news. We'll have a three-platform station. I don't think Chunli are going to like us. Babberg Bay as well. You're not getting goods from here. You can have a platform length of four. There we go. So we'll bring you in here. Now, what I want to do as well is I want to run a passenger line from Zero City North. And by doing this, we can run goods to Chunli and Fletwood West. And also have a passenger line as well. That works, doesn't it? You see? Yeah, not just a pretty face. We can uh, we can incorporate it all. Get you in there. That's quite close. It is quite close, isn't it? Never mind. Right, we'll bring you out here. Oh, that's irritating. Right, flatten that. Keep going. And I mean, we're doing good. Everything's making money, isn't it? You know, this is profitable. And and we, we're still in... Oh, no, we're in 1951. Bloody hell, don't time fly when you're having fun. Right, we're putting the crossover at Desiro City. We're putting a crossover here as well at Bad Burke Bay. I promise I haven't named that. I've, I've renamed Desiro City to suit me. Uh, but Bad Burke Bay, that, that certainly wasn't me that came up with that. Right, you can go there, you can go there, and the signal there. Okie dokie, right, okay, that's... Uh, actually, no, I, do I want a signal there? We'll have a signal there, it doesn't matter, does it? It'll do. Right, okay, so we're going over to Chunli. And then we will... Let's put the, uh, let's put the things on Chunli there. Three, three... So I want Chunli so that, uh, oh, hang on, where are we? There we go, so that there can be like a terminus platform so that you can have trains going in every direction. What we don't want is the uh, the goods trains to come in here and block, you know, cause congestion. So three platforms should be enough to prevent that from happening. We're then gonna go down here. Oh, if I've, oh no, I've not quite, I'm gonna say if I've actually done it without thinking and that's lined up perfectly, that would be absolutely fantastic, but sadly not. Nearly, nearly, but uh, but not. No banana. Right, there we go. Link you up. We'll get a nice... Uh... I would quite like some intercity kind of fast running going as well. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. There we go. That's, that's nice, isn't it? Let's get some signalling in. Into the zero, can't even speak. Into the zero city, and then signalling at Chunli. Signal, and we want the one-way path signals so that everything stays on the correct line. Because when things bugger off on their own line, it ain't half irritating. Right, there we go. That'll do. Uh, I don't know if we'll need to add more signals. 
but we'll cross that bridge, you know. Right, okay, that's good. Right, good trucks. Good trains, even. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have you coming out here as well. Nope, not you. We're going to build that out up here. Purely and simply so that the town doesn't expand. I doubt it will. I mean, it's only a town. I don't think it'll expand that much. But we'll build the line there just so that we've got the line. See, I'm always pre-planning. You've always got to pre-plan on this game. Because you'll come back to it and the town will have grown exponentially. It's really irritating when that happens. You think, oh, I'll, I'll maybe put that round there. And, oh, that'd look nice there. But I can't do it just yet. And then you'll come back to it and the town will be like, whoosh. And we're like, whoa, 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 what's, what's happening here? Right, okie dokie, we need some signals. Signals are all in, everything's jolly and hunky dory. Another signal. Um, I do not have enough money. That's annoying. Right, we'll borrow some more, seeing as the, uh, the maximum amount of loan has gone up. We're going to use flatbed wagons. Have I got enough money? Yes, 6.9. That's the length of the train. I have some goods. And then you go to Babberg Bay South, fully load your cargo. And, uh, oops, hang on. And then I want you to go to Fletwood West. We'll do Fletwood first, because I think you're less likely to, uh, <laughs> to mess up. Uh, right, I want you to then go non-stop to all of these places. I know I don't need non-stop on Babberg Bay if I'm sending it non-stop to the depot. But I just want it all non-stop so there can be no mistake. Right, train on the way. And this is why I particularly like using the flat bed. The flat bed. Because, I mean, you can see on the trucks they all get different coloured containers and that's pretty. But then if you look the train, hopefully, if it's done it right, we'll have... Yeah, there you go, look, there's just random colours all the way down. And, and that reminds me of a freight train that we would have in real life. You know, just random containers. You'd have like some Stobart rail and then Tesco or... No, sorry, not Tesco. Less CO2 rail. Which looks like it says Lesco. Yeah. There we go. So that's our first goods train. That should go hurtling through Chunley. No messing about. See, it's been offering subsidies. I never do the subsidies, I always just kind of do what I want. I find when you're competing with other people, doing the subsidies is a really good way of getting ahead. But when you're just on your own, I, I never tend to bother. There we go, our goods train's going hurtling through. Hurtling through, no messing about. Into Fletwood West. What amount of money is this going to make us? Hopefully enough to put a train into Chunley. 47 large ones, that's fine. Right, clone the train. Oh no, it requires 83,000. Crumbs, right, go. Oh, I think we've got 83,000 now. 84,000, there we go. Clone the train. Except we want to change the orders. Delete you. Send you to Chumley. But non-stop, of course. Oh, another completely random array of goods trucks. Did I refit it? I didn't need to refit it because I cloned the other one, didn't I? That'll do. Yay! Oh, they're mostly blue. Is that because my company's blue? If I change my company colours, will, will they all change? Oh, they do! Ah, oh, that's fantastic. All red. So because I'm light blue, the majority of them are light blue, but just the odd one every now and then. That's ace. I love that. I do love this game, you know. I keep coming back to it. I mean, one of my good friends is coming over this afternoon. I'm so excited. And, uh, and we're going to play Open DDD together. Uh, I love it. I just It's such a simplistic yet complex game, which is a complete juxtaposition in terms, I know. But... Um, you know, it's, it's just, 
it looks so simple, but there's that many, you know, it's just Ace. And it's free. It's free. If you've not downloaded this game, get online and download it. I implore you. Right, we can't rest on our laurels though, because I said we were going to be putting in a passenger service, and before the end of the video, that is what we're going to be doing. Let's have a look, we'll have a Cheney. What can we have? Uh, we'll have a first open. I'm not a lover of corridor coaches, so we won't go for corridor. Uh, let's have a look, so Mark 1. Yeah. It doesn't appear we have... Hmm. That's annoying. Well, it'll have to be a standard class corridor. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll... we'll there we go, a restaurant slash kitchen next to first class. And then we'll have... Um, I say, I don't know why I'm doing this, because it just... You can't fit any people, that's a complete waste of a carriage. On a stopping service, you cannot have... Uh, you're, you're not having that. Okie dokie, and one, two, three. Three standard corridor coaches, and then a brake standard corridor on the end. Five long, 2.7 tiles long, that should do. You can stop in the middle at the Zero City. You're then going to go up to Badberg Bay. And I realise we should probably have used Semaphore, given that we're, you know, we're using steam trains. Stop in the middle at Chunley, and then stop in the middle at Flatwood West. Stop in the middle at Chunley. And then in the middle. Oh no, the far end at Babbo Bay is fine. And then go to De Zero City North. There we go. What are we uh, what are our ratings in De Zero City? Very good. Ah, that is excellent. There we go, there's our well it's not excellent, is it? Because if it was excellent, it would say excellent. There we go, there's our passenger service. Now what we could do, uh, and I do this in most of my cities because it helps them grow is we need a uh, like a little bus station there we go we'll pop the buses in there so that we can have a, you know we can have a bus service and we're going to put bus services out to Fleddingport and out to Bonningham 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 Yeah, you see, he knows what he's doing. I'm going to also put some uh, some little stations. That's that's not what you wanted to do there, is it? Nope, delete, try again. And, uh, and flooding port. Put in our bus station. Now, the reason I put a bus station there is so that we can transport people to the railway station. You see, not just a pretty face. Right, we'll put you up here. I have no intention of running passenger services on here just yet. And of course, I know that there'll be some of you that are like screaming, no, no, what are you doing? You're, you're running a railway over a road. If you're running road vehicles, you do not do that. And I know, don't panic. Do not panic. We'll just uh, we'll pop this in so that our trucks don't get lost. We'll delete you. Go on, go go the other way around. There we go. Thank you. Get rid of that road. We'll pop the bridge in, and then we'll get rid of this road. Then that is how you put a bridge in without disrupting the line in the slightest. Uh, we're also going to do the same here. There we go. Pop a bridge in. I don't like level crossings everywhere. Uh, I, I just don't. But also the fact that you've, you've got... Your road vehicles will collide with your trains and then it'll destroy the road vehicles. So, you know, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Okie dokie, uh, we'll, pop the, we'll pop the crossover in. We don't need to pop the crossover in, but we'll do it anyway for uh, just so that the road doesn't expand over the track. It's so irritating when that happens. And uh, yes, we've got the bus stations.
You can go there into Zero City, to Zero City Central. Transfer, and we've not got anything to cover there, right? Okay, so you can go there, and we shall remove to Zero City South. We don't need that, and we will have a stop in flooding port. Cannot remove. I, I didn't want to remove. Sorry, did I have remove on? There we go. Flooding port. And uh, delivering the passengers, of course, is a really good way of getting, uh, you know, getting in with the local authority. They will like us, which is always good. So there we go. That is a rather quick and, uh, you know, fast... Oh, hang on. We don't need ten of these now, do we? Oh, dear. That's, that's all gone to pot. Because we've got goods things loading now. Ah. Never mind. Well, there we go. That is Open TTD. That's our first, uh, our first Mega Rail. We'll call it Mega Rail. Mega Rail is uh, is what we're going to call it. Yes. Uh, that's the first in our Mega Rail series. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Make sure that you click that like button. Show the video some love if you uh, if you did enjoy it. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already, so that you never miss out on any of the Open TTD Mega Rail series. I, I don't know what we're doing with this. I mean, we're, we're obviously going to be using lots of trains. I like trains. Yeah. Awesome. Rightio. I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.